Okay, so here we are. I've just created this beautiful notebook cover using an app from Canva. And I'm going to show you how to make this one again, but slightly different because they always change. So I'm going to go down to a blank page and then I'm going to go over to down here called Apps. Now this is under Trending, but it's called Seamless Graphics with Patterned AI. And I'm just going to click in there. It's quite easy. Look at the beautiful patterns. Let's open this up. Okay, so this is where we're going to describe what we want. This is how many number of images you want in the little one section. I'm actually going to make four. So I'm going to make hot air balloons. Bright. Hopefully they change it up a bit. And here we go. It's going to generate the pattern. And just like that, it did it. There's four images. The best one I like is probably that one. Let's add to the design. And that's quite good. All right, so I'm happy with that beautiful notebook cover. Now I'm going to go back into elements. And what I did earlier is I just wrote in labels. And then I looked under see all and all of these would work really, really well. Remember this is paid Canva. If you're a teacher, you can get this for free. I might use this one. But you can get some which are, you know, unpaid. But you can see that there's all these beautiful labels which are there for free. You just have to hunt them out. Okay, so I quite like that as it is. But I am going to change it up and put in some spirals. Spiral. Notebook, which I've done just minutes ago. And these work really, really well. And we're just making this sort of notebook. But this one might work for my current one. Yes, it does. So I'm going to copy and paste. And I just used Command C and then Command V. On a Mac, it's Control C and V on a PC. So far, so good. Let's do that again. And this will go off page. And quite frankly, guys, that looks good. And so does that one. So that orange one is another one that's probably under rec Magic Recommendations. There's all these ones which would work really, really nicely as well. I might actually change it up and see what it looks like. So let's duplicate this. And let's delete these spirals. And we'll try another one, maybe this one. And we'll swing it around. So just grab it, grab it and find the little doodacky, the little swing around her. So it's a 90 degree angle. I might make that a little bit wider. So that kind of works. We can use it. It's all up to your own preferences though. Okay, so that can work in itself. Let's do one more with a different picture. So we're going to go back in to the apps, to the left, back into Seamless, open up. Now it gives you some sort of credits. So I've already used, I've got 10 credits left. So let's make this count, everybody. So we are going to make a beautiful, beautiful red bunch of flowers. All right, number of images. Let's make four again because I want a number to choose from. And let's go. So this is under Premium Pro, as I told you before. They look pretty. That is my favorite. Let's add to the design. And I really, really love that, that design right there. So I'm going back into Elements. I'm going to go back into Labels. And this time I'm going to choose something, I don't know, would that work? Yes, that could work. Or maybe it's just a bit too much. I might reuse this. This is actually quite lovely, a black one. You can change it to any color you like. And of course, we've got our photo there. And along here, guys, is the pack of the colors here. So I can use green if I wanted. Pink, pink, black, or movie. I might use this color. I'm copying and I'm pasting. And I'm going to make this smaller. But I'm going to make it maybe that color. So it gives it a bit of a frame. And that notebook is good to go. But I again, I think I want a spiral on there. Let's go for a spiral. You have to keep hunting for what you want. And even then, I'm not finding everything I want. But we'll go for this one again. Oh, 
and there you go. So there you go guys, an easy way to make beautiful notebooks. All you need to do to print this out is you go up to share, download, and if you want a PNG that's perfectly fine for good notes or notability. Or you can just do standard PDF if you're printing, go for best for printing, but I might just do PDF because that also can be uploaded to GoodNotes. Now while I'm here, I'm going to show you how to make this really cool notebook page yourself. You don't have to get it from Elements, but you can make this yourself. Plus I'm going to show you how to make this grid or math sheet yourself. Now this one is quite easy. All you do is, is you go to a blank page. So you just go over to Elements and you grab this line, just like that. Move it up to the space where you want it. If you want to move it down here so you've got space for images, go for it. Now I'm making them relatively thick, but I might go a little bit thinner. So I've gone up to the three lines up here and I'm going to go down to possibly two. All right, so two is good for me. I'm not going across the whole page in case I want to make this in a KDP notebook. So I'm going to grab it, copy, then I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to make it about there because I'm not going to use this for my good notes. So I need enough room to write on it with my eye pencil. Um, not too wide like I have with this one because this could be printed out and made into a small notebook. But So I'm going to make it a smaller one. So I'm going to grab both of these, shift, select, copy, click out of there, paste and now I'm just going to eyeball it and as you'll see that Canva will naturally bring out the 0.375 that's what I want it doesn't have to be exact but I'm glad that Canva does this feature select them all copy paste bring it down again and exactly 0.375 again keep going until you've got all your page done that you wish to and that's it for that notebook. Now, if I want to be a little bit more fancy, all I need to do is go over here to elements and put shapes in. And all I did was just put a whole bunch of shapes and see what I want. I could go for, I want one of the shapes up there, to be honest, because they just look a little bit better. So I'm going to use the gray, move it in like this. And up here, I'm going to change it to white where the color is and then I'm going to go to border weight. Easy. Okay, now easy, you can put anything in that, but I'm just for old time sakes, I'm going to put notes. Of course, I do not like that font. Select it and grab one you love. So this is one that I've downloaded from Creative Fabrica, and that was, I pay a monthly stipend. That's like $9 Kiwi money. Right, I'm going to change the font color to something light gray and in fact I'm going to select everything on here and change it the lines up here I'm going to change it to light gray just looks better and that to light gray as well I'm going to keep going till I get it right <laughs> and that is perfect so when I upload this to my good notes under my beautiful cover I've got enough room to put a picture up here of what I'm learning about and then write some information down here. Now I'm going to show you how to make this math page. So we need to go down to a new blank. We're going to go over to elements and we're going to grab the line just like that. And we're going to make it go across the page this time. That's way too thick. So we're going to go back into the line style and we're going to make it one to one. Just like that. We're going to select it, copy like we did to the last one. And we're going to move it down probably i'm going to make it smaller than uh, my last page and then i'm going to select them both copy paste if i do this it's way too small i need to go back let's do this again drag it down and it's 0 0.33 which is fine keep going so i'm going to select the four copy click out paste Okay, so now I'm going to make the lines going down and this is a simple fix as I go command V. I'm pasting again. I'm using this turn around to 90 degrees and I'm going to fit it where I am eyeballing it to be about the same. Then I'm moving this right down to the ends of the page or you can leave it there if you want. So make sure it's still selected, copy and paste. Then move it over to the same. Yep, that looks about right. Copy and finish off your page. Okay, so I've got my math sheet that I'm really happy with. The only thing is I need to change it to light blue. 
Easy fix. Select everything on the page, go over to this color, and I've just picked for old times sake the gradient. And that's what it looks like. However, what I could do is I could go over here and pick a nice light blue, and that's fine as that is. So I hope that helped you with making your own lines or with your notebooks and your new notebook covers that are seamless. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and have a blessed day.